so you're hosting this evening. Are you prepared? Oh yeah, I'm. A, I always look at, look forward to it. I just came off the set doing Cold Black over at uh, Disney Studios, and I performed three surgeries today. Not really, but so. <laughs> Washed all the blood off of me, got on the freeway and ran down here. So just excited to be here. We got an incredible lineup of people that we're going to celebrate this evening. But that's every year. It's just something that I look forward to because in the absence of this, there really is no other platform that specifically celebrates the incredible artistic works of African Americans. And this is the one for me each year. So this is, I think, my 13th or 14th year of doing it. And I just, I can't wait to get inside and to get going. Well, you know I have to talk to you about the Oscar nominations because we just came off of that with no diversity whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. And so I just want to know what are your thoughts in regards to all of the African-American actors being left out? Well, you know, it comes down to, to writing and roles. Uh, for example, when, when Denzel, he didn't win it for, for Malcolm, but that's a role that you can win it for. So somebody wrote a role that was worthy of the talents of a Denzel Washington. He walked into it and he has the opportunity to do it. If there are no roles being written for which they're going to cast African-American males or females, you really don't have a shot to get in there and with your talents prove that you have the right role, right person, and bam, the nomination should be automatic. So training day, great role. Denzel jumps in there, tears it up, and bam. Any of those kinds of roles, when they come up, we've got a shot. There are no roles in the scripts that are up for uh, uh, in, in a better quality films this year, so we're just never going to get there unless somebody's writing the roles and the studios are not afraid to cast black actors, male and female, in those roles. And then we've got our shot. That's all we're saying is that we just want that shot. Viola Davis had the right role, right talent. She had a shot. She won. So this year, it's unfortunate, but I'm just hoping that we, if we just keep ringing that bell that somebody keeps listening and eventually writers will write studios will have the courage to write to buy the scripts and someone in casting and at the studios won't change their minds about keeping it african-american there's talent out there there's never been a lack of talent in our community that's never been the case but a lack of opportunities that's always been the case thank you so much the studio that you were putting together wow who are some people that you would like to collaborate with to get that going oh man um, Oprah, um, Denzel, um, uh, Tyler Perry with some of his ideas and that sort of thing. But the people who are shaking and moving at that level, uh, those would be the people I'd like to talk to, both about my own endeavor, but also just collaborative process. Uh, some athletes who are really interested in sort of crossing over uh, and have the connections, I'd love to talk to them too because it's, the business is getting smaller and smaller and more and more people from other a avenues are coming into it. So I just would love to collaborate with all the people who have a mind to do great projects but have been waiting for that collaboration to happen.